Here's how to find and buy the next big AI coin, just like AI16Z and all of the things in between. Now in this video, I'm going to show you about DAOs.fun, which is the launch pad for AI16Z, which ran up just shy of $3 billion and also all the quirks and in between. Now down below, there are chapters so you can fast forward to the sections that you want to help you navigate the video easy. Also, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before moving in on the crypto and Web3 space. So the website and platform is DAOs.fun. Think of it like pump.fun, but for DAOs. Now you will need to have a phantom wallet and then also you can have a Magic Eden or a Mana Bus, but everyone goes phantom. So you need to have a phantom wallet and then you also should have a Twitter account. Now the Twitter account is crucial for getting onto some of these whitelist spots. Now I've actually got a position right now, um, but let's just keep going through. Now what this is, DAOs.fun is a way for people to crowdsource funds to then invest. So let's click on this top one up here, Meep. Um, news DAO bringing, I can't be bothered to read it. Basically, they're trying to raise $85,000. And then what will happen is people will be able to invest in the round, just like a hedge fund, a DAO. Then as this goes up, they will have assets under management. This is NAV, net asset value. Now this is a token that I've bought. You don't need to buy into it, but you can see AUM, which is the assets under management. So you can see right here, they have $340,000 assets under management and their current market valuation is 338. Now what happens here is someone can buy Meep. They can then have some cash sitting in that account. If the fund rises up, you can sell out the tokens, but if you don't sell out the tokens and it runs out, you can then get the funding to expire at that particular time. So this is April 15th. And then what would happen is all of this money, the $340,000 would be distributed between all of the token holders. So the idea here is you can get in and you can trade the fund as a coin itself. So if someone buys into Meep and they start with $85,000, they then trade it up to $850,000, you made an easy 10X. Now this seems like easy money, but it's not just that, it's also the speculative asset of the thing around it because it's a DAO, this can be handed over to an AI. So a bot that can do some trading, buying, etc., and people can then invest in the bot to then do some trading. Now, the money can be easy if you get into the right spot. This thing, AICC, this thing, it went a little bit crazy on um, crypto Twitter. Um, a lot of people were mad at it, but a lot of people made some six figure gains off this coin. Jumping over onto Bullex, what we can see here in the top traders section, we can see here that 500K, this guy's made 350K, 350K, 250K. There was some easy uh, gains to be made because people were able to get in on that initial round. So you can see the party round here. These are the market participants. Now this is where it gets very, very crazy. The party round, this is the, these are the people that could invest to get in. Now these people, Twitter accounts are there and you can see three guy put in five soul. You can see a bunch of these people, these guys can put in uh, five soul. Now trustless state, these are the bankless guys. Now the bankless guys are huge and big. Now what you can see here is Udi put out a hit. Basically see bankless is a unique comp of whatever and they say that they took around a million dollars um, and it's just crazy so the fact is a lot of these um, people were able to get in uh, decent amounts very low before this thing ran up extremely high and as you can see it hit around sort of 350 million so they made easy kind of 100 X's on what they were doing Easy money, simple money, because they got in nice and early and because they got whitelisted. Now, this is where I said the Twitter account is very good to have. If you actually head to a coin, so just so you weren't um, able to get in on this, what you can then do is you can drop in your wallet address. So because you've connected your Twitter account, people then go through and go, hey, here's my wallet. I want to kind of join in the round. And this is where a lot of like whitelist sucking up comes into it. And if you've got an account, you can just jump in and try to get in on these rounds super early. And usually, you can then <laughs> kind of catch it and it'll just run up stupidly high. And you can see 36 seconds ago, three minutes ago, three minutes ago, people are putting up their contra their addresses because they want to get whitelisted for this particular DAO. So that's an overview of what it is, but how do you buy them? How do you trade them? What should you be looking at? Well, if you actually scroll down on the main page, you've got all of the tokens here. So you've got um, the big boy AI16Z, then you've got everything else running off down here. Now, a lot of these, 
don't have a lot of assets under management. And you can see that here by net asset value, which is the tokens that they hold, including their own. But a lot of it is the speculative nature of the AI bot. So with this one, uh, X Combinator, this isn't an AI bot, but it is an AI launch pad. So what they're doing is they're launching particular coins. And you can see here, they've got 161,000 of the token, but their market cap is 3.8 million. Now what people were able to get with a million tokens of that, were able to get in on another bot token. So you can see here, congratulations to everyone who joined the pre-sale, launching at an initial 20K market cap, it hit 6 million market cap, an incredible 300X uh, for the pre-sale investors. So that's why people are also buying into these because if you own a certain amount of tokens, if these agents or these projects launch others, that becomes the top tier of the pyramid and then it flows on. So what I'm actually gonna do right here is show you how to buy, sell and trade a little bit. So let's just go down here and have a look at one. So right here, I'm actually going to do the Binance Lab. It's by AI Nance Labs. What you're gonna do is if your account is connected, then you're good. You can choose the amount that you would like to buy. Um, I think we will buy 0.5 sol, check the contract, confirm. So we're sending half a sol, getting 28, almost 25,000 tokens back. And there we go. Refreshing the page, you can see over to my left, I've got my Dow uh, sort of portfolio. And then just say it's gone up a huge amount. Over here, hit sell, 100%, sell all. Wait for the window to pop up, confirm. And there we go, we've taken a little bit of a haircut, but that's how it is. Now there is a quirk, I wanna talk about the liquidity here. So at the moment, the liquidity pool for AI16Z is 3.6 million. This is on DAOs.fund because it is a bonding curve, because the token's live, but it's not live. That's kind of just where all the trading's happening. And over on Bullex, it is 2.74 million. So it's around a million less of liquidity. If you have a look at this token, we can see here the liquidity is $73,000. And over on Bullex, it says the liquidity is $512. So if you are going to buy these, avoid buying them off places like this where liquidity pools aren't set up because all the liquidity is sitting on dows.fun. And you can also add to the liquidity pool if you want to then get a percentage of this APR on tokens that are running really hot and crazy. Now, something I do want to say about this platform, this platform is fun, it's easy to use, it's nice to use, good user interface. Something that I think is very interesting, and we saw this happen with the most recent launch of AICC. What we've seen is a whole bunch of wallets that are doxxed because the party round, you have these accounts there. That's how people are able to log in. And you can see all of these people that are able to buy in, you know who they are, you know what their allocations are, and it almost starts to shed a light on the cabal. It starts to shed a light on the people that do have access to these opportunities and what they actually do as a whole. And this is where we ended up with a lot of FUD being thrown around on the timeline, people getting mad, people getting um, sort of all over the joint. So with these launches, yes, you do need to be careful, but you can also look at who's actually investing. You can actually kind of do a little bit of fact checking, seeing what they're saying. And when something has a lot of green flags, it might run harder and bigger than you think. When it doesn't have any flags at all, it might die a little bit slower because a lot of how this is done is done in somewhat of a transparent way where the fact that people do need to connect their Twitter account, which is public, and that's how a lot of people are getting access. So that's a look at DAOs.fun and how you can find the next billion dollar AI coin. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go down there, drop some love. I'd very much appreciate it. I had a pleasure making this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.